How we fish matters. The type of gear that fishermen use affects the ocean's health. Making ocean-friendly choices when you're shopping for seafood can help rather than harm our oceans and keep sea life thriving for generations to come. Here are some of the different types of fishing gear used in Canada's waters. Bottom trawls have the worst impact on the ocean of any fishing gear used in Canada. These heavy nets can scoop up a lot of accidentally caught sea life that we call bycatch. Bycatch is usually thrown overboard, most already dead or dying. From 1996 to 2006, the British Columbia bottom trawl fishery discarded 2,300 tons of bycatch. Dredging is used in the Atlantic to catch shellfish, such as clams and scallops. Bycatch for this type of fishery is high. Dredging also has significant long-term effects on seafloor habitat and ecology. In Canada, pelagic longlines are used in the Atlantic for tuna and swordfish. Although pelagic longlines have little to no impact on ocean habitat, they can have extremely high bycatch rates. Up to about half of their total catch may be non-target species. The holes of gill nets are deliberately sized so that a fish's gills get stuck when they try to swim through. Habitat impacts are concerns for gill nets, as is the bycatch of marine mammals and seabirds. Purseines are set in the water, usually close to the surface, in a circle using a small boat called a skiff. It's an effective way to catch schooling fish, such as herring and sardines. Purseines have very little impact on habitat, and bycatch rates in Canadian fisheries are typically low. Bottom longlines are used to catch large, bottom-dwelling fish. There are concerns about their habitat impact when they are set in coral forests or sponge reefs. Pots and traps can potentially cause some habitat damage depending on the size and type of the trap or pot, where it's placed, and how densely they're set. Pots and traps are generally recognized as being less damaging than bottom trawls. Trolling, not to be confused with trawling, is the use of one or a few baited hooks on the end of a fishing line. This type of fishing gear is considered relatively benign in terms of habitat damage and has a low bycatch rate. 